Only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Hope I'm not wasting my time. John Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. <coughs> it's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Room 19. Where is that? Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... I came to talk about your son, Mrs. Shepard. My son? I have no son. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No, there's nothing really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for 10 years and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. She said she loved flowers. But what kind? Show her things that take her back. Mm. 
Must have something linked to her son's accident in here. A picture or something. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. Her kids loved origami. Perhaps if I made a figure for her. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. 